Um, there is a condition in the groin that's previously been called osteitis pubis because it was thought to be an inflammation of the pubic bone where the muscles attach. It was thought this got inflamed. Now, in fact, an inflammation is what it isn't because you can do blood tests and in the blood there are various proteins and chemicals that will be raised if there's an inflammation, and there isn't. There is no inflammation at all. And this condition is now more correctly called pubic bone stress injury. And the reason you see it most of the time is because it's secondary to a groin disruption. And what happens is the muscles tear and they produce this reaction in the pubic bone which produces signs you can see on an MRI scan or sometimes even a plain X-ray. So most of the time it's actually due to the groin disruption. Occasionally it will be a primary thing and actually it's very difficult to treat. But most of the time if you treat the groin disruption and do a proper groin reconstruction, the osteitis pubis, or whatever it's correctly called, gets better.